Pardon me, traveler, but have you a moment? I was recently attacked by a flock of hackwings and lost a possession of grave importance as I fled. If you would but help me retrieve it, I would reward you most greatly. A plain wooden box the length of my forearm. Last I saw it was nestled in the beak of one of the hackwings that attacked me. They believe it may have brought the box back to its nest, just northwest of this dock. I'd not ask this of you if it wasn't a matter of grave importance. The box contains a memento from my village that I simply cannot lose. Will you help? Many thanks, Traveler. You have calmed this Elder's heart. I shall await here for your return, of course. And take caution. Hackwings are dangerous creatures, and quick to strike. As I said, it contains a memento from my village. I haven't... I haven't been able to return, you see. It's my only remaining connection. Because... There's nothing to return to, I'm afraid. Imperial raiders attacked my tribe. They slaughtered many and... and burned down our hist tree. I've been a wanderer ever since. It was a long time ago, Traveler. Still, that memento is all that I have left. I'd be most grateful if you could help me retrieve it. I see you have returned empty-handed. Were you unable to find the box I seek? This pendant belongs to the Root House people. It seems their hunting party arrived before you could. Perhaps they took the box with them. Their campsite is just a ways north of here, if you don't mind helping me further. Be cautious. Though the Root House people may not be hostile, their greed runs deeper than the Hist's roots. While my box holds nothing of value, they'll likely use your interest to their advantage. Oh, yes, of course. It's a large branch, burnt and withered. It... well, it, it belonged to my village's Hist tree, you see. When your task is complete, meet me in the Brightthroat village. It pains me to ask so much from you, but please know that the branch you seek holds great importance to me. I don't know what I would do if it was lost. Yes, I always have. When my village's history was burned, I was able to pry a single branch loose. I've magically preserved it for many years. It is my only remaining connection to my village, and to the members of my tribe. A tribe's connection to its hist is sacred. One cannot exist without the other. So I felt as long as I had this branch with me, my tribe could never truly be gone. A silly thought, perhaps, but 
one that has kept me going. In the past, I couldn't bear to call anywhere home, and so I only wondered. But now I have finally found my way back to Merkmire. Today I shall be welcomed to the Brightthroat Village, and become a member of their tribe. What business have you with the Root House people? Perhaps. It wouldn't be any business of yours if we did, would it? Unless... Hmm... You seem to be a warrior of some worth. We may be able to come into an arrangement of sorts, if this box means so much to you. We ran into some blackguards on the way here. No casualties, but they did manage to nab my pack. Quite the embarrassment, truth be told. Infiltrate their caravan and retrieve my hunting bow, and I'll give you the box. The blackguard caravan is just north of here. Shouldn't be any issues, just keep to the edges and stay alert. It belongs to my Uzith Biko, my bonding ritual partner. He is a fine specimen, so I had to make sure to steal something of great worth. The hunting bow you seek has been passed down through his tribe for generations. Of course, how else would I prove myself a worthy companion? That's why this theft stings so greatly. For the blackguards to steal that which I had already rightfully stolen? Such an embarrassment. Oh, you've returned. Have you the hunting bow? Very well. You have earned your prize. Though the box was damaged by the hackwings, the branch within remains unscathed. I suspect a powerful magic protects it. Yes, it's most strange. Who would care so deeply for an old burnt branch? Well-traveled, yes? Let us exchange pleasantries and word from the road.
dare I hope your search was finally successful. Oh, thank the hist. I thought it lost forever. I... I have a final favor to ask you, Traveler. Would you be so kind as to bury the branch right at the base of the hist roots before us? I've carried this branch for many years. It was the only piece of my old home that I had left. No family, no friends. Just a reminder of what once was. But now I have a new village, a new home. The time has come to put the past to rest. The Brightthroat Elders have already given me permission to bury the branch. Just please be mindful not to harm the roots. I doubt there is a hatchling alive who has not heard some version of the tale. After all, it is not often that a hist chooses to slumber. To think that the gentle soul who helped me so greatly would become the root mender. I am well. The Brightthroat tribe has been very welcoming to this old traveler. Of course I try to help when I can with my healing skills. Uh, but I talk too much. I'm sure you have many others to greet. And you as well, Rootmender. May you always prosper under a blessed sun. By your hands, my traveling has come to an end. Thank you. A foolish thought, perhaps, but I feel... I feel as though a piece of my tribe is now a part of this village. I suppose you're right. I was as much a part of my tribe as any branch of our hist. Here, your reward. Thanks to your actions, I feel as though I can finally find peace. And after so many years of mourning, that is no small thing. Now is the time to work towards the prosperity of my village. I've already offered my services as a healer, of course. I have quite a bit of experience in the field, given my various travels. I mourned the loss of my village greatly. Every waking moment I thought of that night. The screams, the blood, the ash. So I chose to leave Merkmire. Still, though, I carried the branch and the memories. Many places, though I spent most of my years in the friendly cities of elsewhere. It was there that the name Hands That Heal was gifted to me, due to my magical skill. And then, after many long years, I made the choice to come home. I simply realized how greatly I missed my homeland. The thought of dying on foreign soil, away from the roots of the Hist, was too sad to bear. And so, here I am. <laughs> 